everyone, Bob the Tomato here. This is Chuck Vollmer. He's a senior concept artist at Big Idea. He paints many of the beautiful backgrounds you see in our shows. Today he's going to show you how to draw Poncho. Today we're going to be drawing Mr. Lunt as Poncho from Asparagus of La Mancha. Mr. Lunt is basically a egg shape with a, a slight bend in the top half of it. So, so we draw a simple shape like this. This is Mr. Lunt's body. And Mr. Lunt's nose goes about a third of the way, or two thirds of the way up the body. As Poncho, he has a fairly large hat that sits just above the bridge of his nose. And it comes out just a little bit the way it sits on his head, like so. And the back of his hat would again be just a little bit lower than the bottom of his nose on each side. And it, the top of the hat is above his head and comes down like so. And that's the front of his hat flipped up. And then the top of his hat that would go over his head would come up like so to a kind of a rounded U-shape like this. Right above his nose, well actually sitting on top of his nose are his eyebrows. And his eyebrows are pretty bushy. We'll put just a, go with a basic shape first. And let's put these basic shapes of his eyebrows like this so we get them just where we want them. And once we like the shape of them, and put little bumps for his bushy eyebrows. We got about four little bumps there, and we'll do the same on this side. And Mr. Lunt also has a nice size mustache. It comes out center of his nose. It comes out like a upside down V. Flares out on the sides and curls down. And same on the other side. Mr. Lunt also has some hair that comes out underneath his hat. Like so. Give him a little bit on this side. Now we can put his mouth. We're gonna have him look like he's yelling here a little bit. Because the fun thing about Mr. Lunt in this show is he's got just one tooth on the bottom, which is kind of fun. So we're gonna put his mouth in here and add his tooth. Like that. And then right below the bottom of his mouth is the top of his apron. Let's draw the top of his apron and then the straps of his apron that hold it up come down about, just about a little bit past the points of his mustache. And the straps come up and they're going to wind behind him, back behind him. You have to imagine that they come up and they'd wrap behind him like so and then come back around. So you can, you can, if you need to, you can draw a line if that helps, or you can just kind of imagine it and bring that on around like so. So those are the straps of his apron. As they come around, the apron, he ties little straps around his waist as well. So the apron kind of comes down it hangs out almost to the bottom of Mr. Lunt's body. And the straps are going to come around about in the middle. And about in the middle of his apron, we're going to go ahead and put some straps. You can 
see a little bit of that second strap as it wraps around him. The straps will tie together on the side. We're going to draw a little knot with some, some ends sticking out, like so. And then we're going to draw his shirt collar that is underneath the apron. Again, we're going to do the top of the shirt, wrap it around him, like so. Imagine it wrapping around. And then his collar is kind of unique that it has these little block shapes that come down like this. And the same on this side. And then we can go back and darken some of the line work. The bottom of his hat where it wraps around his head. We'll darken the nose so that it stands out nicely. The underside of his mustache. sides of Mr. Lunt. If you have an eraser at home, this comes in handy. You can get your eraser and kind of erase some of the construction lines that we use to build Mr. Lunt. Since we already have the hat on his head, we can erase the construction lines of Mr. Lunt underneath there. And we can do the same for the eyebrows where the hat goes behind his eyebrows by erasing that light line, it feels really nice that his eyebrows are sitting now in front of his hat. Another thing we can add is on his hat, he's kind of got an old beat up hat, so we can go back in and add kind of this stitching that goes into his hat. It's a little line or seam on the hat with a couple little stitches like this. And we can put a couple stitches on his apron, on the sides here that hold his apron together. Let's darken again some of the lines. And there we go, we have Mr. Lunt as Poncho.